Ghana Football Association. Uh, if you just tune in, we are looking at Real Tamale United's game against Nkranza Warriors at the Aliou Mahama Stadium, where the match commissioner for that game is under investigation. So this indeed is the official communication that came from the Ghana Football Association. It says that following the receipt of a complaint from the referees of the match between Real Tamale United and Nkranza Warriors FC, uh, that was yesterday, 25th of January 2021. That was when the uh, complaint was received. The Compliance and Integrity Officer of the GFA has opened an investigation into the conduct of the match commissioner, Ibrahim Husseini. That is his name. The investigation is in relation to a Division 1 League Zone 1 match day 3 match played between Real Tamale United FC and Nkoranza Warriors FC at the Aliu Mahama Stadium, Tamale. The match commissioner is alleged to have attempted to bribe the referees in order for them not to write an accurate report about the incident that happened during and after the match. The compliance and integrity officer of the GFA is working with the GFA prosecutors and other experts in the investigation. The report of the investigation would subsequently be sent to the appropriate judicial body for necessary action. Meanwhile, the match commissioner will not officiate any match until the matter is fully adjudicated in accordance with the regulations of the association. And so, uh, members of the general public has been advised that they can report any unethical acts or behavior by a club official, match official, or GFA official to the integrity office. And uh, an email and then a phone number has been given, but that is not uh, our concentration. The concentration is on what happened here over the weekend when RTU hosted uh, in Kuranza Warriors. So now, uh, this is the official statement from the Ghana Football Association. Yesterday, I had calls. I also made calls to Amin. Uh, I abreast myself with everything that is happening because I know this morning you will be listening to and looking at um, um, issues that are emanating from this statement and then also this incident. One of the calls I had had to do with the fact that it's RTU in trouble. Uh, the truth of the matter is that with everything I have gathered and all the information from insiders, uh, RTU is not in trouble. That is what we should know. Real Tamale United is not in trouble. The audio that I have been privy to uh, is this. You hear a good Samaritan <laughs> in the audio, yes, that... Uh, good Samaritan giving glory fair to the referees and he said that my team has won and for you officiating this game for my team to win I am giving you this amount of money from the audio I'm giving you this amount of money as glory fair that is it so that is the good Samaritan and aside that with the match commissioners issue he was heard in the audio saying to the referees that they should make sure that both the referees' reports and his reports are the same. So that it doesn't capture some incidents that happened. During the game, uh, Real Tamale United fans were not happy with the referees officiating. Uh, they, I mean, suspected fishy, I mean, uh, deals or uh, unfavorable calls from the referees and they blocked where the referees would pass into the arresting room during the halftime. And so the police came in to intervene and advised the, the referees or the officials to stay on the pitch. So at halftime, whilst the players of the two sides went into the addressing rooms to rest and then also seek for technical and tactical advice from their respective coaches. The referees were still on the field of play and waited for the team to come back after 15 hours, after the 15 minute uh, recess rest. And so um, the referees definitely would want to capture that in their reports. And I believe that is what the match commissioner didn't also want uh, to be captured and so that is all that happened but uh, we know more 
in terms of names. Now, Real Tamale United is even looking for, or we are all looking for, who even did the recording. And two, three names are our people that were around. Because one, if, assuming without admitting that this is true, a match commissioner will not <laughs> record himself. Um, a referee will not record himself. So, I mean, let me just leave it here. The information is there, but it is at the doorstep of the Ghana Football Association. So, if you are listening and you want details and explanations, this is what we have gathered here at First Miss Sports. And this is the information we have. We are waiting for the FA to sit on the case and then also decide on what happens next. But in all of these, Real Tamale United is not directly involved. The man who wanted to give the money said, a uh, good Samaritan, at least my team has won and you were the officials. So I want to give you Laurie Fair. The audio never said there's an RTU official. So for now, and the audio that we have heard, Real Tamale United is not in trouble. But we are waiting for what the FA is going to see. So exactly that is uh, what happened. The, ba the basic or the main issue has to do with the match commissioner who was heard asking the referees that they should make sure uh, that they both come together and have a uniform match report taking out the incident that happened, which I have already described. So exactly.